hey YouTube so we'll be taking um, another video in our Windows privilege escalation series and today we'll be looking at two techniques on coded service part then we'll be considering services and registry as well uh, this should be pretty quick and um, if you've not been following up uh, uh, the privilege escalation series for Windows please you can check um, the playlists in our YouTube uh, channel, you will find we have, have a couple of videos there. And also, um, please do like and subscribe, as well as um, we'll be recording some videos for CodeRite on uh, AWS Cloud pen testing. Oh, when it's ready, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay, great. So let's get right into this. Um, quickly, we're going to verify on Coded Service Path. We'll use the command SCQC, then we'll pass. Uh, as we see so currently we can see what we have the type is win32 on process the start type demand starts error control is normal then the bean path we can see it's the program files on the service path then common files so we'll be dropping something in there probably that might help us elevate that privilege we are currently here not an admin as we've shown you in previous uh, um, sessions okay so um, we'll take advantage of this quickly we'll go into our um, parrot os we're using the parrot os today and we'll use msf venom to generate maybe a payload that can help us add ourselves to local administrator then we'll drop it in on that service path probably call it using the se starts the service and see if we can grab ourselves an admin so right here we want to um maybe we've got a bunch of these binaries here so i'm just going to mdr call this msf venom okay that should be pretty cool uh msf venom M. then we'll just oh sorry we'll just go into into that directory okay we're pretty much cool in here nothing here so we're going to type in MSF um, Venom. We're going to use MSF Venom uh, T, the payload. We're going to use Windows. Then we're going to use probably Windows exec. Then we'll be executing the command CMD. We'll pass that equals. Then we'll write that command net uh, local group. We're adding ourselves to administrator, don't forget administrators i hope our spelling is correct user that's the username then we're adding ourselves over there so we'll wrap this up quickly then we we'll format these as exe sorry exe service okay great so that's because i want to drop this in the service uh, um, path to execute then we'll just call it like oh we'll call it Common.exe because we saw that right here. Common files. So that call. Okay, this should be pretty fine. We'll just look at the command. Uh, Windows exec. So we want to execute the command. Don't forget. Then the command is cmd uh, netlock net local group administrator user add that f service um, services that all we write that command out. So we're going to run this. Generate the payload. Then we're going to ship it over to our box. Okay, so I <laughs> see it's prompting us to continue. We need to log in using administrator. So obviously we are not administrator here. So let's bring up our browser while the payload is um, generating. Then we're going to browse. We'll host the server here once it's done generating. Then we'll browse in that server, um, the Python server, and download the file. So that file should be ready. Okay, right there. So we're going to stage Python v that um, HTTP server in here on port 8000. Then HTTP, um, I'm going to see, uh, one and two, the one, six, eight, dot zero dot one four four on port eight thousand yeah probably 
and we hit the server okay so that's our file we'll pull it down we should get um av flag it's probably if it doesn't yeah of course it does so we'll just keep it we won't discard it uh, um we don't want to discard that file um the better ways to wrap this up to prevent ad from um av from flagging stuff like this but we're not covering that within the scope of this recording so we've got that file in there mm -hmm. we've got that file in there so next we're going to uh take that file and go place it in our uncoded service path which we had seen we saw that was uh first let me cut this file we'll go to our c we're going to go to um it was program files then on quoted service path we can see the common files in here basically so i think i'm just going to place it in this path okay that's pretty much fine uh i see this one is in here already so um that is in there next we're going to start that service and call that file to execute probably that my elevator privilege so let's use the sc service starts sc starts so we're starting the service on okay so um if we quickly check um sorry about that so we quickly check uh Nets user. Um, we see we are now in local administrator group. Admin, mm, sorry. Administrators. Okay, and we find ourselves right in there. So we are now admin or we're part of admin on this box. Well, that's the first technique. Quickly, I'm going to <laughs> go remove that right. I'll switch back to the admin accounts and quickly strip myself of that right. The second technique we say we'll be showcasing services. So to quickly verify this, we'll run a check. Yeah, I'm going to... So I'm going to see get ACL. Okay, great. So this is there. Anyways, uh, um, you can see that user entity authority system allow full control. That was what I wanted to show you, but I was going to run the complete full path, maybe just to showcase that again, so we can probably be on the same. I'm going to run that get ACL again, and I'll pass that to path, and I'll be going specifically for HKLM, and then I'll, sorry, then I'll go over to system, then I'll go to current. We're going for current control, then sets. Then we're going for services. Then we're going for that um, reg SBC reg service. We'll pipe that output over to FL. Let's see. So look at that. Uh, I wanted to showcase this. We can see uh, current control sets, uh, which was run built-in administrators anti authority everyone allowed read key everyone allow anti authority interactive allow for control okay fine built-in administrator allow for control but we are going for everyone everyone here because obviously we are not an admin we're everyone so but we are allowed to at least read that key so let's see if we can exploit that as a way to elevate our privilege um, i'm going to kill this python server and i will fall back one step in here i've got a binary which i'm, which I'm going to compile and ship it over it's called windows service.c i'm going to build that binary and i'll ship it over to see if i'm able to exploit uh, 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 this functionality which we can see here to elevate our privilege so let's quickly uh first i'm going to just nano on that file uh, it's called windows sorry uh windows service let's see 
So just to showcase what it looks like, I'm going to stretch it up a bit so it's easy to read. And what we basically want to do here is we want to make some replacements. Uh, the command we want to execute specifically is cmd.esk that KNET local administrator. So I'm just going to, I have the command somewhere in my templates. I'm going to copy that command and paste it there just to save us some time. This, so cmd.exe, okay, net local group administrator, user add, we add ourselves. I'm going to save this, exit this, then I'm going to compile this. I'm going to build this using a specific command. Again, remember, uh, this could be done with normal GCC for x64, but we know this is a 32 bit OS, so you can see I'm passing that. It's either x86 or x64, so it doesn't compile with just x64. And the binary is not able to execute probably on our environment. Uh, it's pretty much important to understand the environment you're trying to compile a binary to execute on. If not, you definitely going to have headaches doing that. So I'm going to execute this. We should have x.exe if I. We can see x.exe. So I'm going to x.exe there, Python 3. Stuff. Um, I think I'm going to save this as an alias. So each time I try to execute it, I don't have to type it anymore. Or not for this video. HTTP.server. So let's start. I could probably use opdoc, but I haven't really showcased that. But when I did the day stuff, I could use opdoc to save myself some of the stress. So I'll come in here and um, Refresh this server. You should have x.exe there again. This should flag. Uh, if it doesn't, then it means this was actually pretty clean. So if it didn't flag, that's pretty much smooth. So this wasn't having any malicious signature in it. Uh, this is Windows Defender. I'm not seeing that. <laughs> Anyways, cool for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab that file and replace it. We'll go to our CTEM and replace it in there. Then we'll call the registry path to that. So I'm going to go to my um, downloads and um, this I'm going to cut it and go to my C so I'll drop it in temp you see there's something there but I'm just going to paste it in here okay that's pretty much fine I'll minimize that minimize this then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the registry the reg command to add that uh, x.exe and obviously, if it's been added, since we saw that initial read functionality, we should be able to elevate that privilege by having that uh, completely run. So let me add, I'm going to type it in there, <laughs> HKLM. So we're going for HKLM, it's this term. We're going for current uh, control. sets hmm, sorry current control sets then we're going for services services reg svc did i make a mistake in svc that's fine then b slash b image path uh, the image path we want to enforce that P is in reg expand basically SZ. Then we're going to the uh, directory C column. Then we're going for temp. Then we're going for uh, okay T E M P. Maybe that's why I made a mistake. Then we're going for x dot e x e. Mm. That looks pretty much fine. Then we're going to force that thing. That's we're going to start the registry reg S V C. Mm. Okay, start service. Favorite error. I'm not sure why, but let's check if we. Once again, uh, net local group administrators. Okay, so I had to go check on the registry key. 
and I can see that yes of course we have that exit exe there and I actually use the manual technique to enforce it to execute and restart the service then it all looks pretty fine and it worked pretty fine <laughs> so um, we're good to go all right so um, basically we've been able to showcase two techniques in this uh, video um, the first being the unquoted service part this also being service but from registry uh, there are quite a number of other techniques which will be showcasing in this windows religious escalation series as you um, hang around I hope you find this useful and your maybe day-to-day -day pen test job or probably uh, playing some CTFs. Next on this series, we'll be looking at um, services, but executable files. Then we'll also cover registry again, but this time around, we'll be looking at auto run. So if you're not familiar with registry, I, I hope you, um, um, I wish you can probably go check up um, registry. You have these keys here. We were using H. E L M that's HK local machine. You've got current user, you've got class root, you've got HK users as well. So we were here from the command we executed. And right here you see quite a number of useful keys. We'll be exploiting these for any of the registry exploit which we'll be doing. And um once again, thanks for hanging around with me. And um, I hope you find this useful. Have a good day. Bye bye.